evening, everybody. I'm going to take you guys inside a sneak peek of what we are learning this week inside the Board Exam Prep Academy, where I teach you guys what you need to know for the board exam to pass the board exam. Nothing more and nothing less. We get right into it. So there's really focused studying. So I'm going to show you an example of what we're doing this week. So we are learning oral facial anatomy. So I have PowerPoints prepared for you and I give you lectures online per slide of what I want you guys to know for the board exam, what you have to study. There's different images. There's different titles, you know, paragraphs, but it's to the point. This is a lot more exciting than studying from your textbook, isn't it? Where you could read the chapter on oral facial anatomy if you wanted to, but then guess what? You're going to be exhausted. You're going to feel like you didn't learn anything, but if you let me teach it to you, it's a lot more exciting. You could be, I don't know, doing laundry, cleaning the kitchen while you're kind of listening to me teaching you. And there's going to always be something on the screen as well as we go through it. So here's an example where we have, it's about a half an hour to an hour lecture per PowerPoint, depending on what we're talking about. But this is the oral facial lecture that we have. This is one of them. And then at the end, we always go through mock exam questions. So let me just go through a couple with you. Okay, so I just kind of landed on this one. Um, Joe is coming in today to have his wisdom teeth extracted. He is 21 years old. What do you expect his wisdom teeth to look like? So if you guys are thinking about this question, pause the video and think about it because I go right into the answer for you. If we're doing something live, then I give you guys a minute to kind of think about it. But in this case, since you're watching a pre-recorded video, pause the video if you're still thinking about it. So what we do with every mock exam question in the Board Exam Prep Academy is we, of course, talk about the answers. But I'm going to tell you guys why one of them is the most correct, because on the board exam, two answers are always the most correct. This is actually a very easy question, so this might not be the best answer here. But so again, you guys, reading the question, what do you expect his wisdom teeth to look like? Well, A is the best answer. The roots are going to be fused because in oral facial anatomy, we talk about the cusp, we talk about the line angles, we talk about the roots, we talk about which tooth has a more sloped distal cusp. We talk about all of that. So you would know how to answer this question from studying that. So the wisdom teeth, the roots are fused. Some of the wisdom teeth have three roots. Some of them have two roots. On the maxillary, they're typically fused. On the mandible, they might not be. But the roots being fused is the best answer because no other tooth has fused roots unless it's an anomaly and weird things happen. But typically when you see in the x-ray fused roots, you know wisdom teeth. Let's say they're missing a couple teeth, but way in the back, you see, oh, that tooth is just hanging out there. Is it a wisdom tooth? Are the roots fused? That's kind of the first thing you look for. So this is taking into account critical thinking as well. I always suggest to all of my students, look at the other answers too and say to yourself, okay, two separate roots. Well, which teeth in the mouth have two separate roots? So you're constantly studying, but in different ways. You're not just reading a textbook, reading my notes, reading the slides. You're always studying in a different way. And that's what I teach you. Which teeth have three roots? What about exfoliated roots? Why would roots be exfoliated? Primary teeth, right? The primary teeth that are about to be lost. So we go through everything. Let's just go through one more question. Oh, no, that was kind of easy. Let's go through another question to keep it simple. No, that's an easy one too. Let's do this one. Okay, Kyle has uninterrupted wisdom teeth and he is 48 years old. They are not causing him any pain, but you see them all in the panoramic x-ray. What are your initial thoughts? So this is a great example of, they're giving you a lot of things in the question. Pick out the key words. One, uninterrupted teeth. Wisdom teeth, so to be even more specific. What's his age? Is he in pain? No, he's not. What x-ray did they take? Those are picking apart the keywords. So what are your initial thoughts? Pause the video if you're still thinking about the answer. He does not need them removed at this time because it's not causing him pain and they're uninterrupted and they're wisdom teeth, okay? I, well, 
any tooth. If a tooth is unerupted, you don't typically need them extracted unless they are causing you pain. For wisdom teeth, it is a bit different. When we're teenagers, we've been told for many, many years now, get the wisdom teeth out so you don't have to worry about them. Get them out while you're still under your parents' insurance. Why not? Just get them out, have it done. Age 48 is so different. You are basically putting yourself through something that isn't necessary unless they cause you pain. So that's kind of the best answer there. I could talk about the wisdom teeth forever and inside the course, I absolutely do. But just to give you guys an idea, this is how our oral facial anatomy lecture would go, where I go through the lecture, I teach you guys the topic, and then we go through questions together. So you can ask me questions anytime. In the Board Exam Prep Academy, we do have a members only Facebook group where you can also network with other students. Ask questions anytime, ask me questions. You get full support being a member of the Board Exam Prep Academy. I will answer your comments, posts, anything first. I go to that members only group first because you guys are studying for the board exam. You're going to need me. You don't just sign up for my course and then never hear from me again. You sign up and you will hear from me every day. I am in that group on Facebook every day where we're going through topics and every week there's a new topic. So you have focus studying, you know what to study and when to study, it's, it's perfect. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm going to leave the links for you guys down below. I do board exam prep for dental assisting students, dental hygiene students, both in Canada and also the US. There are separate courses. So have a look, see which course is the best for you. I've been tutoring now, oh my goodness since 2005 and we have a 99.6% success rate helping students pass. For some of the board exam preps, it's 99.7. So it's at least a 99.6% success rate helping you pass the board exam. So I can help you because you'll have PowerPoints, teaching lectures, mock exams, who doesn't love mock exams? So I look forward to seeing all of you guys inside the course. And I should mention too, if you miss one of our lectures, live sessions, anything, everything is fully recorded. So you can attend live if you want to, or you can watch the recording anytime. So I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys in the next one.